Who wouldn't love their own personal stylist? Well, we gave fans a chance to ask style guru and author Brad Goreski to tackle their burning fashion questions. We okay. went out right here on uh, Sixth Avenue in New York and asked some people their fashion questions that they would ask if they had their own celebrity stylist. Fine. So let's take a listen. Um, Clothes-wise, what's in this season? Um, kind of like I love leopard print, but is that still in or, or not? Um, and also, like I love wearing skirts. But I've kind of got a bit of a big bum. So, like, lengthwise, what's the best? Like, mid length or long? Or I don't uh, know. First <laughs> of all, she needs to come to my studio right now. I'm obsessed with her. Um, okay, animal prints are still in, so she's in a really good spot. She looks very like trend on trend. And again, this is like a thing that she loves. You know, so good for her for rocking it, even if it's in style or not. And secondly, one of the things that I think all women should have in their wardrobe, especially this season, and it's going into the fall winter season, is a pencil skirt. Because if you get a pencil skirt um, that has stretch in it, it can actually act as almost like a Spanx or like a, a body kind of wrap. Yeah. So um, I would say if, if you love skirts and want to wear skirts, I would do something that you want something that either hits above the knee or below the knee. Never something that like cuts off your kneecap. That's not a sexy kind of look. And then get something with stretch in it too. If you feel like you need that extra kind of hold, it's the best way to but do it. But I love that she, she's going for the leopard. Oh, she's like leopard, pencil skirt. <laughs> she's got the accent. She's Oh yeah, she's, she's, she's set. She's fine. All right, so we're going on to number two. We've got the leopard print and the pencil skirt down. And Great. here we go. I'm under five foot two and I have short legs. What can you do for me? How can you help me? I would say for you know my clients who are on the shorter side, um, the thing that we're always trying to do obviously is lengthen the leg. So heels, platform heels especially are a good way to do that. Um, there's good ways of disguising your height. If you do like a boot cut or a bell bottom jean, wearing a really, really high platform shoe under it will give you that illusion of height. And also wearing a shoe that has a good pitch so you get the lengthening also of the foot. Um, what I would stay away from are boyfriend style jeans or capri style, anything that cuts you off in a weird area because it's going to truncate your body. So you want long and lean, skinny jeans, um, you know, skirts probably that hit below the knee or super short skirts. Okay. We've got our next fashion question here. Hi, my name's Lindsay Graver, I'm from London in the UK and my question is what is going to be hot this summer? For, for the summer, what, what should we be looking for? What the she sun's going to be hot her. this summer. <laughs> no, I'm just well, first of all, she was wearing one of the hot colors of the season, which is mustard, um, in her scarf. It's carried over to uh, spring, summer, and also into fall, winter. Um, but for, for spring, summer, one of the biggest trends, and it's been a trend for a couple of seasons now, is color. This season, it's been muted down a little bit to more pastel, macaroon-type colors very romantic, very feminine. And then uh, the other big trend were prints. There were prints everywhere. Floral prints, geometric prints. Uh, Prada did like comic book kind of 1950s vintage car prints. So I think the designers are really challenging us and asking us to stand out, you know, and asking us, giving us the means to express ourselves and really express what whatever our style identity is. So I say have fun. My question for you is, how can we get a New York edge in Los Angeles? Yeah, I think the big difference between Los Angeles and New York is that Los Angeles is a lot more laid back. It's a very jeans and t-shirt culture. And I think definitely here in New York, if you're trying to get that look and trying to get that cool, I would say um, incorporating more button downs, some more blazers. Um, you know, there's very much a California look here in New York as well, but I think it's just kind of refining everything. You know, the guys here, whether they're dressed down or dressed up, they always look kind of put together in a very effortless way. So I think it's also, you know, it's a hard thing to kind of get right away. It's more about spending time here, observing, trying things out, but I would definitely say kick up your, your relaxed style a notch, kick up your evening style a notch, because people really do go, go out all the way here. And guys Guys really do follow the trends here. So in LA it's a little bit looser, but here guys are definitely more fashion conscious.